I am eating Lunchables for one week. Lunchables are a classic go-to for school lunches. I know I had them a lot as a kid. I have to say though, as an adult, I don't think I've really had any Lunchables. Maybe I went back once or twice in my life just to get a little bit of nostalgia, but it has definitely been a hot minute. And when I went to the store to buy these, there are apparently a lot of variations, I guess, of Lunchables that I've never had. I don't know if they're new or just my mom never bought them for me. Maybe that's what it is. What the heck, mom? You didn't buy me the chicken nugget Lunchables? We're here to shake up Look, check it out. But hey, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe they'll actually be good. A little while back, we did an I ate Taco Bell for one week straight video. That was a whole lot of fun. People seemed to really like it. I was gonna jump into doing a second one with a fast food chain. But as of recently and a bit premature, I am a father now. And having a newborn in the house, well, you know, it's just a little bit inconvenient for my fast food YouTube videos. Who needs a baby anyway? So I was trying to think of something I could do that would work for this without having to go out of the house constantly. And I decided, hey, what the heck? Why not something like a Lunchables or Hot Pockets? That's right, baby. Hot Pockets. Or something like that. If you like these videos, by the way, hit the like button. Anyway, why not go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And let me know which ones you'd like to see in the comment section. Whether it's fast food or just any kind of food. I'm very much open to any kind of ideas. But before we get ahead of ourselves too much, we got seven Lunchables to eat. So let's stick to that. And you gotta start with the classic, the cracker sandwich. Turkey and American cracker stackers. I actually never ate these cracker ones as a kid. My wife apparently really liked these. Pretty much the only ones I had were the pizza and the nachos, both of which I will be doing. So I'm not really sure like how these will stand out. They're just like crackers and cheese and turkey. I never really got why they were like the main one that people seem to like. Well, maybe it was the pizza one. Yeah, now that I think about it, that might have been the more popular one, at least with the kids that I saw at school that had lunch bowls. Let's do it. Of course, this is uh, Oscar Mayer lean turkey, white meat only. And Kraft American pasteurized prepared cheese product. <laughs> they can't call it cheese because American cheese is not actually cheese. I'm not a huge American cheese person. I would much rather have actual cheese. There are a few different situations in which American cheese are a total must have. Breakfast sandwiches. Cheddar cheese just doesn't cut it. I'm sorry. You need that melty fake American cheese. I'm kind of excited. I feel like I'm back in school again. My mom actually would buy me Lunchables. Deep. Recently often, I always felt pretty cool because other kids would always get jealous of it. Looking back, I don't know why. I guess it was just the vibes. I don't know, it, it just it just felt cool. Are there any games or anything on this box? No, come on, I want a game. Give me a maze, give me a puzzle. I want to use my brain. <laughs> All right, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> this is pathetic, what is this? Look at that sh It feels so substantial in the box. And the box is bigger than I remember it being too, but then just. <laughs> That pops out. It's the Capri Sun that's doing uh, doing most of the heavy lifting with the weight there. I almost forgot it even came with a drink though. I'm kind of excited. I would never drink this kind of thing though. I mean, this isn't even actually cheese. Or, excuse me, juice. Basically nothing in this is probably real. The Reese's might be the most real thing in this entire uh, lunch product. But this actually could be pretty good. Pacific Cooler. What does that actually mean? I guess it's apple, pineapple. They always put different fruits that aren't even actually in the juice. For a split second, I thought they were saying that there was roast white turkey in the Capri Sun. <laughs> Let's try it. I hope there's different things besides just Capri Sun. Just for variety sake. I really don't want to drink seven Capri Suns in a row. Although they have a few different variations and, and things you might not expect. This was always a challenge. Let's see if I can get this. Nope. <laughs> Attempt one failed. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. That was, that was a gargantuan Jeez. task. <laughs> That, that is some nostalgia in a in a pouch right there. Mmm, fruit flavored juice drink blend from Concentrate. Yummy. Not bad, I, I think there would be other Capri Sun flavors that I would prefer. Probably just like a straight fruit punch would be better. But hey, it's sweet and more importantly, it's giving me some nostalgia, which is really what I'm looking for with this Lunchables video. First, we need to start making our sandwiches. This is gonna take a long time to build these artisan sand cracker sandwiches. I need to get started. I'm instantly having two thoughts. One, this is looking a bit sus, this turkey here. <laughs> it doesn't even, it looks, it doesn't even really look like turkey to me. It looks more like ham, but uh, this is very processed turkey, I guess. I mean, obviously the cheese, I mean, it's American cheese, so what do you expect? But secondly, this is just not a lot of food. How did I go through lunch with just eating this? Or at least the pizza with nacho equivalent. This doesn't look filling at all. How many crackers are we working with here? We got uh, six crackers. I think we have six of everything. Again, I didn't have these crackers sandwich ones very often, but one of the reasons was it was 
would annoy me. Like, I want to make a sandwich. Like, I want to make an actual sandwich. I, I, want, I want two slices of, of bread on my sandwich. But they don't give you enough crackers. Like, how expensive would it be to add, like, six ex extra crackers? Like, how much uh, of the profit margin are you really taking off there? But, oh well. I'll just do it regularly. You gotta, you gotta have the turkey on the bottom. That's the only correct way to do it, right? My very suspicious looking cheese sandwich cracker. I wanna complain. It's actually kind of good. <laughs> It tastes nostalgic. Even though I didn't really eat these, you know, I think I'm gonna have to rank these at the end. I didn't do that with the Taco Bell one. I think it'll be a little bit easier to rank these though, because there will basically only be seven things, or at least close to seven. I'm very curious to see where I'll end up ranking this one at the end. Because it's nowhere near as bad as you kind of think it'll be. It's insanely processed. Even the crackers, they don't look like regular rich crackers. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. They look almost like, like graham cracker cookies or something. Into each thing individually, pretty terrible, especially the turkey. But for some reason, you put them all together. It just works. It's almost like it's genetically engineered in a lab to go together perfect. It's kind of like how if you go to a fast food place and you get like dipping sauces, the dipping sauces only taste good with that specific fast food restaurant. Am I crazy? I swear that's a thing. Like try McDonald's dipping sauce with Wendy's. It just does not cut it. I think it's something like that. Like these are processed in a specific way to make them go well together. I'm getting kind of conspiracy theory brained right now. And of course we got the Reese's candy. Can't forget the desserts. The sandwich is leaving a weird aftertaste in my mouth though. That I will say. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I don't know if it's because it's like been refrigerated for a long time, but I, I do remember these candies and these Lunchables being like off, like not exactly the same as the ones you'd get in like can the candy aisle or whatever. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I think it tastes pretty similar to a regular Reese's. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to do some research. Are the candy inside Lunchables the same as the ones you get on the shelf? We're asking the real questions here on the Peep channel. No! Yeah, I didn't find anything. All right, let's finish this. Okay, I have one left. I'm definitely gonna eat all of these for this video. I tried to do that for the Taco Bell one. If I order it, I kinda gotta finish off. Or at least almost all of it. Self-imposed rule, but I'm going with it. This one, I will make an exception though because my wife really likes these sandwich cracker ones. I'm gonna make her. Uh, sandwich and bring it to her as a surprise. I mean, she did just give me a baby. I think I can make it up to her and give her a Lunchable cracker sandwich in return. You know, it's a fair trade. I will finish my drink though. Alright, see you in day two. Welcome back to day two. If it looks like I haven't slept much, uh, I haven't. Luckily, after spending sleepless nights with a crying infant, I have to fuel me. Chicken donks. <laughs> Four Lunchables chicken nuggets and a cookie. I'm sure that's enough. How much more nourishment could I really need? At least the nuggets look uh, pretty large. I mean, they got little astronauts walking all over them. So yeah, you know. I'm actually not really sure what's up with this design choice. Looks like it comes with ketchup? Yes, uh, ketchup, great. As I mentioned yesterday, I have definitely never had these. I absolutely never Never would if I wasn't doing this video. You know, I definitely wouldn't have loved a different side. Uh, ketchup is fine, uh, whatever. And no drink today? What the heck? I was actually kind of looking forward to another Capri Sun after after yesterday's. Chicken donks with chocolate cream cookies. Isn't it just an Oreo? I guess it's not even technically an Oreo. It's a chocolate cream cookie. This is seriously the, the least amount of food I think I've ever seen in my life. That's a sentence that doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Some of these I am looking forward to. This is definitely not one of them if you can't tell. Let's open it up and see how depressing this looks. This is what we're working with. <laughs> uh, just little circles of processed chicken that's cold. It doesn't even want to split. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the shortest of all the segments because, I mean, look at it. It's four pieces of nuggets. I'll do it without the ketchup first. <laughs> Insanely processed, very, very densely ground up chicken, and it's cold. Taste is all right. I'm trying to think if I was a kid, would I like this? Probably. But I think even as a kid, I'd be pretty disappointed to get this one in lunch, especially if I didn't have anything else to go with it. It looks nice and white, a little bit uh, unrealistically white, I will say. Let's try the ketchup. Are we working with like Heinz here or something? Like what, what kind of ketchup is this? I'm imagining it's gonna be really sweet. Oh my god, it's disgusting. <laughs> cold chicken nuggets and cold ketchup. I would not feed my kid this. I would feed my kid Lunchables, but not this one. I much prefer chicken strips that are at least a little bit more real uh, chicken than chicken nuggets. But I won't scoff at chicken nuggets. I'm not gonna turn my head, uh, head away at them. I mean, I'll even eat McDonald's chicken nuggets if I'm feeling dirty enough. Mostly just as an excuse to eat whatever their new sauce is. I am a total sauce slut. Not for this ketchup though. I can't tell if it's the ketchup that's bad or if it's just the chicken that's bad and the ketchup isn't helping. 
ketchup is just way too sweet. I knew it. I could taste it in my head before I even saw it. I really don't want to eat all of this, but by my own self-imposed rule, I kind of have to. I don't have the wife excuse for this one. She does not want this. I need a break from the chicken nuggets. Let's try the cookies. There is at least two. I thought there was only one. The not Oreos. Yeah, that's actually kind of hitting the spot. I, I don't know if it's just because of how bad the chicken nuggets are or what, but I, I, I'm really digging this right now. Anything that's not those chicken nuggets. There's little circles of packed up meat. I feel like it's almost hitting the spot too much, so I have to punish myself a little bit. Let's try it in the ketchup. More than I was planning on getting. That wasn't good, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> it actually wasn't good. All right, I guess I'll have to finish this up. I got two left. Oh. Bad piece in there. It's like a bone or tendon or something in that piece. Sorry, <clears throat> that was gross. Ah, God. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be in competition for, for last place. There's a couple other things at least that might be worse. We'll see. But that was bad. That was not good. I give that one a rating of, <clears throat> oh my God. <clears throat> Out of 10. Go away. <laughs> Welcome back to day three of Lunchables. I feel like I have more energy this week, even with a crying newborn every night than I did when I was eating Taco Bell every day. I think that's saying a lot. We have for today Lunchables uploaded, specifically turkey and cheddar sub sandwich. In theory, we are getting actual cheddar cheese this time. I'll believe it when I see it. We also got some Pringles. That's a nice change of pace. We got some Kool-Aid singles. So we got a drink this time. And a little, uh, you know, a little Hershey's Kisses to go along with it, I guess. It definitely seems like it's gonna be more food than the previous one, although the weight I can tell is uh, very much on one side of the box. That's gonna be the water bottle. I learned my lesson from last time, but still, it should be more food than yesterday, at least. Doesn't really seem like there's anything interesting on the box. Does this come with uh, any kind of topping, like a uh, mustard or something, mayonnaise, craft cheddar pasteurized prepared cheese product? Okay, it's, it's not real cheese. I right, take it back. Light mayonnaise. Okay, so it does have some mayonnaise in there. I'm not like huge on mayonnaise. Uh, it's all right though. I probably will use it. I'm more of a mustard guy, personally. Let's open it up. Okay, we have our bread here. That's some solid bread. Gonna make our drink. Pringles, I actually almost bought Pringles yesterday at the store for some reason. I didn't, because I remembered Pringles suck. But hey, at least I have some today. Maybe I'll like it. Pringles are one of the kinds of chips I was talking about before. If you look at it closely, it does not say they are chips, they are crisps. Because crisps is a more vague, hard to define word. The mayonnaise, two Hershey's Kisses. Here's our turkey and cheese. This does look exactly like the cheese from the other cracker sandwiches. We'll see if it tastes the same. The turkey on first inspection does look slightly better, but we'll see. All right, I'll do the drink first. Yeah, so this is Kool-Aid Singles. This is a single serving. That's why it's called Singles, in case you didn't know. I feel like you could probably put half of this in the bottle and it still tastes really good, but we'll see. I'll try half first. No, give me the whole thing. That's just watered down water. Huh? That could have been phrased better. If you are a real sicko, you could drink it down like halfway and then put all of the sweetness in. That's the kind of thing I used to do as a kid. You, know, you get cereals with marshmallows. You eat all of the cereal that isn't marshmallows. And so at the end, you have marshmallow cereal. It's a little bit of like a, you know, delayed gratification kind of thing. This is fruit punch, right? It's tropical punch. Dude, I haven't had Kool-Aid in so long. Okay, yep. that's That tastes like childhood right there. Pringles. These are the cheddar cheese. Not my go-to Pringles flavor, even when I uh, did used to eat Pringles fairly often back in the day. I feel like this is a hot take a little bit. My favorite flavor of Pringles. Not cheddar. Not pizza. Get the pizza one. It's barbecue. Crisps. Crisps. How many of these do we get? Now, it looks like 10. That's not bad. I feel like Pringles are the kind of thing that you like more as a kid. As an adult, it's just not really doing it for me. I'd much rather have like an actual potato chip. Even just like a slightly salty, regular sliced up bit of potato would be way better than this. It's just so processed. It tastes kind of cardboardy. Don't get me wrong. I'd still eat them. And I mean, like I said yesterday, I actually was considering getting some. I just didn't. I've been eating very well lately. So I had a strong moment where I didn't buy the Pringles. But you know, nine times out of 10, I want like an actual potato chip. Everybody knows this is how you eat Pringles. Though. You gotta like, all the flavor off. You kind of broke. That's the challenge. Can you do it without breaking it? Then you have a nice soggy chip to eat afterwards. Sounds a little gross, but it is oddly satisfying. All right, let's get the real show on the rug. The sandwich. I have never had this one before. I don't remember if I mentioned that. I've definitely never had the sub sandwich ever. This is just like a, a hot dog bun. Like a low quality hot dog bun. I think it even opens on one side like a hot dog bun. Okay, let's get our turkey and cheese. 
That's what real food should sound like. It does look slightly better than, well, yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look better than the cracker sandwich. It's just bigger. Shove it in there. Here's our cheese. So is this the same as the other cheese? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it still tastes just like American cheese to me. It's cheddar cheese product. I don't know what that means, and I don't want to know. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. I'm actually super hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I think it's almost 5 p.m. I'm starving. I'm really hoping that this hits the spot at least better than it did yesterday. I'm thinking it might still be a little bit more like the cracker sandwich, which was, you know, pleasantly nostalgic. Again, I'm more of a mustard than a mayonnaise person, but I will try some. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to split this sandwich into three. I'm going to do mayonnaise, mustard, and I'm also going to do one with, hear me out, ketchup. Gasp. Gasp is the sound you make when you are surprised. <gasps> that is a gasp. I would absolutely never put ketchup on a turkey sandwich anymore. But as a kid, I used to do it all the time. My mom would make me just like plain turkey and bread sandwiches. Oh, it was a little picky, I guess. So I don't blame her. And then I would go up into the cafeteria and put ketchup on it. So I haven't had that uh, since I was probably like 10 years old. I want to see if it uh, tastes as good as I thought it did back then. Does that look how it looks on the box? Close enough. Okay, mayonnaise first. My hand's so slimy, it's hard to open. I got turkey slime all on me. How are we feeling about uh, sandwich condiments in the chat? Are we team mayonnaise? Are we team mustard? I hope we're not team ketchup, but you know, I'm curious. I feel like mayonnaise is more popular than mustard, at least in the US, right? But I'm not sure. Big mustard fan myself. All right, ketchup, here we go. This is gonna be great. All right, here it is. I'm ready to eat this. Starting with the mayonnaise. It's a little bit uh, <laughs> heavy on this side. <laughs> you know, not bad. Tastes like a basic turkey sandwich. It's definitely better than the random like pieces of bread and turkey my mom gave me. Uh, <laughs> for a lunch at school. No offense, mom. I know I was picky. It's not your fault. I don't blame you. It's not your fault I had to eat plain turkey and ketchup sandwiches every day for lunch. I actually kind of feel like it needs something else. Maybe a little more mayonnaise or maybe I'll try it with a Pringle. Doritos are my go-to sandwich chip. I don't know if anyone else ever puts chips on their sandwiches. You know, we, we can make do. <laughs> it could have been done better, but... I mean, I know I'm really hungry, but honestly, not bad. One Pringle on the sandwich, another to wash it down. Well, it's already better than the chicken nuggets. It just started by default better than the chicken nuggets. All right, mustard. Again, it's, it's a little too far on one side. <laughs> you know, even though I'm a mustard fan, I think with a very basic turkey sandwich like this, I think mayonnaise is better. You know what? I'm coming out and saying it. With a more substantial sandwich with like actual toppings and stuff, mustard definitely for me. But with something simple as like turkey and cheese on bread, the mayonnaise, it just, it just works. The mustard is good. Don't get me wrong. It's that like tangy flavor, but I feel like the, the more mild mayonnaise is better with this sort of mild sandwich. Pringle time! It's Pringle time! I will say that with chips, mustard clears. It's top. Mustard is peak with chips on sandwiches, especially Doritos. Like Cool Ranch, maybe like some jalapeno-y type of Dorito on a sandwich with mustard. Oh, that's so good. Unfortunately though, I did save the ketchup for last. Rip. Yummy. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, it's not doing it for me. <laughs> it adds nothing. It brings nothing to the table. Also, this ketchup kind of sucks anyways, but even if it was good ketchup, yeah, it's just not great. I'd rather have it plain. And again, I love sauces. Food is basically an excuse to eat sauces. <laughs> if I could just chug sauce and be sustained, for my life, I might do that. Chip. Mm. No. More Pringles. More. Now, honestly, that was not that bad. I think I'm gonna have to rank it above the turkey cracker sandwiches. Those were nostalgic for sure. I enjoyed it, but the sandwich was better and it's also more filling. Also, it came with a side of chips. I mean, this is like a, the unloaded one, so I guess it's a little bit bigger, but I, it's definitely better than the cracker sandwich one. I mean, of course it was a thousand percent better than the chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, and I forgot Hershey's Kisses. You gotta finish them. It's my rule. This is the only way to eat Hershey's Kiss, by the way. You grind it at the top. Until it's flat. Yeah, it doesn't really need the Hershey's Kisses. I'm not adding that much. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to day four of Lunchables. Still feeling pretty good. Honestly, it hasn't been that bad so far, you know, other than the nuggets, but we are changing it up a bit today since we are halfway through the week. We have a brand new item. Actually, two new items. We have Lunchables Dunkables. Now, this is definitely not something I'd ever heard of when I was a kid. I think this is something that came out recently? Question mark? This one's reduced uh, to 72 cents, so you know it's good. What's the expiration date on this? Used by December 8th. It's December 10th. Probably fine. 
So we have a savory one and a sweet dessert one. This is mozzarella sticks with marinara and breadcrumbs. So you basically are just making your own mozzarella sticks. You got sauce, breadcrumbs, cheese sticks. And then you have pretzel twist with PB spread and choco chips. I have a feeling this won't be super filling. These look kind of like a snack to me. I'll smell it. I'm usually kind of a stickler on eating things before the use by date. I'm kind of like paranoid about that sort of thing, if I'm being honest. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to try to persevere unless I see some mold or something. I doubt so with only two days. Here is what we're working with. We got the breadcrumbs, the sauce, and then we have the mozzarella cheese sticks. It smells fine. Don't see any mold or anything. I think it's going to be all right. Okay, so how do you actually use these? I mean, I guess you're supposed to dunk them, right? That's, that's what it's called. I'm gonna taste the cheese without. It doesn't really taste like mozzarella cheese to me. Maybe that's because it's rotted and I will die soon. Whatever. Let's try the mozzarella stuff added. Mmm. Now that looks tasty. I will admit my struggle with my paranoia of eating out of date foods is making this a little hard for me to enjoy this. I'm trying though, I promise. I need another bite. Even throwing that aside, the cheese, it doesn't actually taste very good to me. I actually really like mozzarella cheese. I used to work at a pizza place. Don't tell my boss. But I used to just take some of the cheese and just eat it straight. This doesn't taste like mozzarella cheese to me. It tastes more like Parmesan. Processed cheese product. Okay, I mean, there you go. But I mean, even like some kind of processed mozzarella cheese still tastes good. This just doesn't taste like mozzarella to me. And the sauce, I think that's probably the same sauce they use for the pizza. I gotta say, the breadcrumbs are really not adding a lot. It tastes really salty. They got some seasoning in it. They're not really doing it for me though. I actually think the best part of this is the sauce, like the tomato sauce. And I think that's a little sad because it's not like Lunchables is known for having like top tier tomato sauce or anything. Yeah, it actually is better without the, be the breadcrumbs. It might be because it's out of date a little tiny bit, but the breadcrumbs are super stale. If it wasn't for the video, I would not finish this. No way. No. No. All right, hopefully this next one will be better. It seems a little bit harder to mess up. The pretzel twists with PB spread and choco chips. Ah. Here's what it looks like. Fairly underwhelming, but nowhere near as gross looking as the mozzarella sticks. Those were bad. I feel like I've had this exact brand of uh, pretzel twists at the grocery. So I guess you're supposed to dip it in the peanut butter first. Get a good, little good helping there. Some choco chips. Oh yeah, baby, that's loaded. That's not bad. Honestly, it mostly just tastes like chocolate chips because I got too many chocolate chips. I want to try it with the peanut butter. The peanut butter is not bad. It's not too sweet, which I, I like because I mean, it has a chocolate chip for that. Mmm, this actually is pretty good. Yeah, a nice little snack for lunch. Honestly, mm. I don't have too many complaints about this. My main complaint is, do you need to buy this? I mean, you could just get pretzel twists, peanut butter, and chocolate chips and put those in your lunch. It's not really that special. I feel like the thing that makes a uh, Lunchable special as a kid is like, oh, I can have pizza for lunch. I mean, you could just get cafeteria pizza, I guess, but pizza for lunch in my lunchbox? Pizza for lunch and my son at the Hedgehog Lunchbox? Hell yeah! My dog wants to come in very badly. Why are you scratching my door? You think I got yummies for you in here? You know what it is? She smells the peanut butter. She's obsessed with peanut butter. I'll give you some peanut butter later. This is peanut butter for me. I literally just gave her peanut butter last night. It's funny, like, I'll give it to her and her eyes, like, even if she's sleepy, I get handed the spoon, she starts looking at it. Her eyes just, like, get, like, two times as big. <laughs> but yeah, like, nachos, pizza, even, like, chicken nuggets. It's kind of like a novelty that you can get that in your lunchbox. I mean, this is the kind of thing, like, I feel like my mom would have packed me anyways. Maybe not with chocolate chips, but she's gonna eat the chocolate chips. Actually, they're very generous on the chocolate chips. Another complaint with these dunkables. There's nowhere near as much for me to talk about in my YouTube video. So I got a black point for that. But I will gladly finish this. And the best part is, now that I have safely removed the chocolate from the uh, container, I have a little peanut butter burger. All right, I'm gonna rank these, the mozzarella sticks, easy second to last. Only barely above the chicken nuggets, honestly. Those were disgusting. The peanut butter pretzel ones, a little harder to rank, I think, because they weren't bad. It was a nice little snack, but again, nothing special. I think I'll have to put them under the cracker sandwiches. All right, what are we doing tomorrow? Ah, yes. We're gonna go to one of my childhood favorites and see how it holds up. I actually kind of don't think it will taste very good. Join me tomorrow to see what it is. <laughs> Welcome back to day five of Lunchable. Unlike almost every other day of this week, I actually have eaten today, so I'm not really that hungry, but it's getting late. I gotta eat my freaking Lunchable, all right? I signed up for this, I'm gonna complete it. But I am excited for today because again, this is a very nostalgic one for me. Probably the one that I got the most as a kid. It is the nachos. Nachos with cheese, dip in salsa, and a fruit punch Capri Sun. That's the one I wanted. I wanted the fruit punch. This was the best. It's a good source of calcium. Can you believe what a steal this is? Yeah, I remember this having just about the most fake cheese in the world, and the salsa was... You know what? I actually can't remember what the salsa was like. I just know that even as a kid, I didn't really understand the concept of fake cheese, but even I could tell that 
there was something a little off with it, but, but you know, I didn't mind. But yes, we do have a drink again today, which I'm stoked about. I've been kind of digging these sweet drinks, like I say, sometimes on this channel. I don't drink it a lot, but when you do get a nice sweet drink, it tastes pretty good. And hey, I have to drink. It's for work. And I even get a Kit Kat. It looks a little small, but you know, that's fine. Let's open her up. Oh my god, the cheese is like, it looks like one solid cheese because it's up at the top. Man, this, this just looks like nostalgia to me. These little tiny freaking chips. I remember them kind of tasting almost a little bit more like Fritos than corn chips. But anyway, let's start with the drink. We got the fruit punch this time. I recently learned something about Capri Sun. I don't even know if this is true. It's just, I heard it, so I'm gonna say it like it's true. I, I have no journalistic standards here on the Peeps channel. Please subscribe. But I heard somewhere that these Capri Suns, they recently stopped using real sugar. And I thought, oh wow, that's good. They're looking out for the kids. No, if you go on their website, it says the reason why they don't use sugar anymore is because the government started taxing sugar and they're like, F you. <laughs> so they don't, they're not even pretending that they're doing it for a good reason. They're just, we're not paying that tax. We're going to use something else. I just thought that was funny. If it's not true, uh, Capri Sun, please don't assume me. It's going in. Ah, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I hate to admit it, but the cool, oh, cool ranch, <laughs> but the fruit punch is actually not as good as the Pacific Freeze or whatever. I, I've been wrong this entire time. Every, is everything I know a lie? Probably. I remember thinking that as a kid, this is what all drinks in the future will look like. They will come in pouches like this. It's just something about this felt very futuristic. The future is silver pouches. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Or will it be as good as I remember? <laughs> that freaking cheese, quote unquote, big quotes. Mmm, cheese product. All right, here is what we're working with. I remember these chips being bigger. They probably aren't. It's probably just my fingers that are bigger now. Yeah, my memory is serving me right, I think. They actually do taste a little bit more like Fritos than like your typical corn chip. I don't know if that's just because they're processed. Not bad though, for what it is. Let's dip. Yeah, that's nostalgic. How many times have I said that word in this video so far? Yeah, it, it, this cheese stuff has like a strange, like almost jalapeno flavor to it, weirdly. Definitely doesn't taste like cheese. Tastes a lot more like Velveeta, which is what it looks like. Let's try this salsa. Yeah, very sweet. Tastes a lot just like a sort of paste kind of salsa in a, in a bottle. The real way you eat these though is with uh, double dips. You gotta get not one, but two chips. Dip them in the cheese and then give them one single dip into the salt. There we go. That looks just delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my God. Mmm, chips with slime. Lunchable slime chips are my favorite. Yeah, they are a little bit disgusting, but also like, I still like it anyway. Mm. Brings me back. Here's another way you can do it. Use one chip as the dips, do a little salsa, and then you make a sandwich. Who needs Taco Bell? Oh, <laughs> Oops. Man, I'm really getting all my daily vitamins today. Lunchables Nachos is uh, it's pretty high on the food pyramid, right? As a kid, I really loved the cheese slop. As an adult, I'm kind of digging the salsa now more. And the salsa tastes at least a little bit more real than the cheese. Man, this is salty as hell. I need some more futuristic juice pouch. And the more I'm eating this, the grosser it gets. <laughs> De definitely. This is just not an adult meal. Honestly, this probably shouldn't be a child meal. But hey, if you're a kid, you gotta live a little, right? I'm an adult now. It's too late for me to live a little. I've already lived a little. I've gotta buckle up and get serious. I've gotta stop eating Lunchables every day. I mean, I'm not gonna stop because I still have two more days, but you know. After that, I really gotta buckle down and stop eating Lunchables. Now that I am officially a father, which is still weird for me to say, I'm trying to think, would, would I give this to my daughter for lunch? Would I send her off to elementary school with this? I probably would. <laughs> Probably would if she wanted it. All things in moderation, right? Kids can eat anything. I ate like Lucky Charms and freaking peanut butter crunch every day for breakfast. I turned out fine. Oh. Well, I got cheese in my beard. The hair in here, I'm gonna assume that was mine. <laughs> all right, I don't have two more chips left, but I still have plenty of cheese. I feel like I, as a kid, I would've eaten all of the cheese by now. I gotta get as much as I can. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Uh -oh. That was a little too much. <laughs> that was not good. I could stand for like an apple or something. I, I'm sorry, I snapped the Kit Kat. I'm sorry. That was really actually pretty rude of me to do that. Here, we can pretend. All right, before I rank it, I'll just eat the Kit Kat real fast, but I'll never turn my nose up to some candy. That's exactly what I want after eating all those fake cheese nachos. A Kit Kat. Once you pop the fun don't stop. Huh? It's not the right song. I forget the song. Give me a break of that Kit Kat, boy. Okay, I feel the worst after eating that one, for sure. I did enjoy it, but it was one of those things where the enjoyment peaks early and then starts to 
slowly decline. Definitely not better than the sub sandwich. Not better than the, the cracker sandwich, even though as a kid, I definitely would have thought that was blasphemous. Is it better than the peanut butter dip thingies? I'm gonna say yes. So I have it third place under the cracker sandwiches above the peanut butter dip. Just because, again, it's something special. I mean, how you can't really get nachos in your lunch unless you have a Lunchable. So it's kind of like a novelty. But it's only barely better. It's definitely not as good as I remember. I'm hoping that the pizza will be better than I remember, or at least as good as I remember. That one we will be saving for the final day, though. So join me tomorrow for another secret item. I mean, it's not secrets. You're gonna see it tomorrow in like two seconds. But it is definitely different from everything else that we've had so far. See you there. <laughs> Yo, what up? Welcome back to day six. Right? I only have two more Lunchables left, so it better be day six. I wouldn't say that all of the Lunchables have been excellent, but at least most of them have been okay. And I can definitely say that I'm feeling much better than when I was doing the Taco Bell one, that's for sure. And I'm not exactly tired of eating Lunchables yet, oddly. But all of that being said, I am not looking forward to eating <laughs> today's Lunchable, quote unquote. There was a few different Lunchable types that I remember seeing back in the day, like the cheeseburger, I think, like maybe a hot dog, stuff like that, that they just don't make anymore, at least not as far as I can tell. But I wanted to have something uh, unique, you know, something special besides just the basic one. So I thought, wow, it'll be a great idea to do candy Lunchables. Lunchables candy. But you know, now that I'm actually doing it, I am legitimately hungry. I do not want to eat a, a meal made of candy. I, I actually don't want that. I wish I was eating an actual Lunchable now, but alas, I've made my bed and I must lay in it. <gasps> That works. So we've got a uh, cracker stackers, so a candy version of the cracker stackers and a candy version of the pepperoni pizza. It actually came with uh, two extras, so I mean, hopefully it's good enough to have extras. I'm kind of doubting that, but you never know. So yeah, these are just gummy candied versions of the classic Lunchable flavors. I mean, we haven't even had the pizza yet. Obviously we're saving that one for tomorrow. I'm gonna be honest, they don't really look that good. <laughs> I'm thinking this is probably gonna be more of a novelty than like an actual candy that you would crave eating like ever but hey maybe we'll be surprised let's start with the cracker stackers these crackers look like play-doh this whole candy set looks like play-doh i'm really not looking forward to this you know honestly i'd almost rather eat the chicken nugget one again i, I wouldn't that's why i said almost i just do not have a sweet tooth at all right now all right let's open it up god it's time to stop complaining and get to work okay so it does come in like a little lunchables looking container here i like that it does kind of smell good actually very fruity smelling so we got uh, some some crackers quote unquote here we have our meat i guess this is like a uh, turkey and ham i guess and we have some cheese so now we can actually make sandwiches this looks like a cheeseburger <laughs> and we'll make a turkey <laughs> Got little sandwiches. <laughs> They're kind of cute, I guess. Although this is bothering me. I, I want my cheddar with my turkey and my whatever this white cheese is with my ham. I think that would be better. I'm gonna pretend it's Swiss. I don't see any holes, but I'm gonna pretend. There we go. Simple as that. I have a feeling the uh, pizza one will be a little bit more elaborate, which is why I started with this one. But uh, all right, I guess I'll take a bite into this cheddar cracker stacker. It's not bad. It's almost too much gummy in one bite though. I don't want that much gummy per bite. You know what I mean? I'm gonna taste these individually. Let's taste the cracker. Barely mild, but a little bit subtly sweet and fruity. I'm trying to decide, what, like, what flavor are these even supposed to be? Does it say? It just They're just artificially flavored. I don't see any specific flavors. And I'm too afraid to look at the ingredients. <laughs> Let's try the cheese now. I can't tell if it tastes exactly the same or not. I think it might. Turkey. Okay, this one tastes more like strawberry-ish. Vague red fruit taste. I'm gonna taste them back to back. They are different flavors. It's a little subtle, but there's definitely a difference. I'm bad at telling the difference between flavors. Actually, it was probably like in my mid-20s until I realized that Skittles were all different flavors and not just different colors. Is that weird? I mean, I know I'm not the most observant person in the world, but I didn't realize they were different flavors. I just thought, you know, I don't have anywhere else to go with it. It's hard to tell. It's just like, if something tastes sweet and fruity, it just kind of all tastes the same to me. But those are at least subtle different, I think. Let's try the ham and let's say Swiss. It's Swiss. This is fancy. Again, same problem. That's just too much gummy in one bite. <laughs> if I'm eating a fruit gummies, I want like, you know, just to pop one in my mouth. Not like four giant slabs of gummy taking a big bite. And that was a smaller bite than last time. The taste is not bad. It's nothing to like write home about though. Yeah, I mean, it's just all right. It's not really that fun though, I have to say. If I'm having something that's like, oh, a Lunchables gummy candy thing, you know, I don't know. I, I think the pizza one will be more fun. And I know I've been trying to do my own self-imposed rule of eating everything for the meals. I'm not doing that this time. Okay, you, you can you can go ahead. Go ahead. Keep, keep booing. Keep booing. I'm not eating this much sugar in one meal. I just don't want to. All right. It's for my health. 
<laughs> I say after doing an entire Taco Bell week video, it's for my health, okay? What it is is I just don't like sweet stuff that much. I much prefer savory over sweet. In fact, I need I need a chaser here with my unsweetened coffee. Besides, I think if I ate all of those crackers and all of this pizza at once, pizza, crackers, I think I would actually would get sick. If we were doing a video that was eat something candy related every day for a week, then I would I would eat it all. This is not that. Also, I wouldn't do that video. <laughs> I just w probably wouldn't. Unless you have a good idea for me in the comments, then maybe I will. I'll do anything for the views. Oh my God. Yeah, this is 24 grams of sugar for three servings. 24 times three. That's how much sugar is in this one thing of candy. Oh my God. That's 76. I can't do math in my head. I can't tell what different flavored Skittles are and I can't do math in my head. You, was I right, Toasty? No. All right, we have our pizza meal. It looks great. <laughs> we got our pizza slab here. Right here, you're gonna have your sauce. Right here, you got your little pepperoni weenies and your little cheeses. Pizza slab, <laughs> also known as crust. This actually does look like just cheese. It doesn't actually look like a gummy. I would actually buy this as cheese. If I just bit into this separately and it was a uh, fruit gummy and not cheese, that would freak oh me out. Here's our bloody looking gushy sauce. Let's make it the pizza. Oh my God, the bubble. <laughs> oh, gross. My pizza sauce has snot bubbles. I'm pretty sure there's only two pizzas. So we gotta, you know, we gotta go all out on this sauce here. Spread it to the edges. God, that's a lot of goopy sauce. <laughs> all right, cheese time. Cheese me and please me. This is gonna look like a freaking masterpiece when I'm done. Skip it a button. Da -da. There, a pizza masterpiece. God, this thing is disgusting. <laughs> it's dripping too on all sides. God. <laughs> my roni's falling. All my toppings are dripping off. All right, I gotta eat this thing. Cheers. No wonder this has so much sugar. This this sauce syrup is so sweet. Off-putting. <laughs> this is off-putting here. I'm getting syrup all over my little tripod. God dang it. It's a little tangy sour. Way too sweet. This one's way more fun, right? This is fun. <laughs> it looks like a crime scene. Fun! Yeah, all the toppings, almost all of them slipped off. I guess I'll try these without the gummy sauce. It's fine. Those taste basically the same as the cracker stuff. It's the pizza sauce. It's a little too much. It's a little too tangy. It's falling all over the place. I don't even think I used half of it on that first pizza. And it's like all gooping off everywhere. Gooping off. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I like... Well, okay. I'll be fair. I'll be fair. That one definitely was more fun. I was being a little sarcastic. It definitely was more fun to make the pizza. It was at least a little uh, creative. Especially if I was a kid, I think I would be digging this mess. As an adult, I'm just like, I have to clean this up. As a kid, I'd be like, Mom has to clean this up! But yeah, it, it, it tastes it's fine. It tastes all right. Definitely not the worst gummy uh, candy that I've tasted. That's for sure. Where do I rank this though? That's the question. Cause it's 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 nothing like the other ones. All right, sub sandwich still at the top, then the crackers and the Dunkables. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna put it above the obviously above the chicken nuggets. Those were disgusting. But it's not really that impressive. And it doesn't. I don't know. I, I'm biased against sweet stuff. I'm putting I'm putting it just above the chicken nuggets on the tier list. All right, I am looking forward to it tomorrow. What we are gonna be doing? The pizza. Pepper Roni pizza. See you there. Oh my god, all my hands are so goopy. I, I, don't, I don't have a clean finger to press the power button. I don't think I have a clean finger to press the power button. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the final day. Day seven of Lunchables. And as I mentioned yesterday, we do have the pizza with pepperoni. I've been looking forward to trying this one since the beginning. I decided to save it to the end though, and I'm glad I did. This was the Lunchable I probably had the most growing up, other than the nachos. Although usually I did get just the cheese one, like the three cheese. I don't know, the pepperonis even as a kid kind of grossed me out. But the pepperonis are more fun. Honestly, I think, I think I'm excited for the pepperonis this time. Lunchables, pizza with pepperoni. Pepperoni. We got a crunch and a free sun again. Got people playing on top of the pizzas. Honestly, uh, it's a little, a little unsanitary. But I'm freaking starving. Let's open this thing up today. I open it up today? I open it up at some point today. We'll open it up. Pizza delivery! I don't know if you guys knew this, but I actually worked at a pizza shop for a couple years, so I know how to make pizza. I'm basically an expert. I even got good at the little, the little dough flip thingy. My boss didn't like it when I did that, but it was fine. I never dropped it. I don't think we have had a crunch bar yet. Oh, it's been a while since I've had one of those. Kind of kind of excited for that. Mmm, it's a crunch bar. I would have preferred it to be less cold. It was a little too hard. But honestly, I'm not above a crunch bar. Not bad. All right, so we got the three pizza dough breads. When the moon is your light like a big pizza by the I still got it. The sauce cheese bronies. Let's just go ahead and get into this. Let's, let's make it. You guys know the drill. I already said I used to work at a pizza place, so you guys are going to really be expecting this to look good. I, I feel like I used to, I usually would just like spread it evenly, but I think for this first one, I'll just leave it like that. It just looks like ketchup. <laughs> get a little cheese. Cheese time. Cheese me and please me. 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm of the mind that if you're making something like this, the first one especially, you don't want to overdo it. You want to save the best for last, so you don't want to use all the toppings right away. So I'm kind of going with that in mind. How many pepperonis are we working with here? Let's get a close look at these ronies. They only smell a little funky. <laughs> only a little. How many were we working with here? Nine. So there's enough for three roni slices each, which honestly is almost too much, because like, look at that. That covers the whole pizza, which I mean, I guess is good if you want the ronies, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't look good. I feel like a true pizzeria chef. I feel like Dave Portnoy doing a pizza uh, review short. All right, I'm out here at Lunchables Pizza off of 23rd and Bell Bellu Road. Everyone in the comments told me you gotta try the, the Lunchables Pizza. You gotta try it. I'm on here. One bite review. Gotta give that an ass out of 10. Well, that's what Dave Portnoy would say. I'm not saying that. Also, my New York accent, uh, what did what I get out of 10? Thinking like a 1.8, personally. <laughs> this is kind of reminding me why I didn't get the pepperoni one as a kid that much. Because, like, this just tastes like the pepperoni. I barely taste the rest of the pizza. So, it just kind of tastes like salty roni. It's not bad, though. It, it's making me crack a smile there. I, I'm just, it's just this whole experience has been pretty nostalgic. You know what you're getting with Lunchables. This is not a fancy feast. I'm enjoying it. Although, I honestly don't think I really want all these pepperonis. Yeah, that's what I was tasting that entire time. It's just this. This salty pepperoni taste. I think I'm gonna put one pepperoni on them from now on. Let's make another. On this one, let's do a little more sauce and we'll spread it out. I wanna taste that pizza sauce. Get my roni spreader. I feel like these used to come with a spreader, like a little spreader stick. Am I misremembering that? Kinda hard to get an even spread with a floppy pepperoni. <laughs> but I did my best. Cheese it up. Probably unpopular opinion, but if I'm making, if I'm ordering a real pizza, I do like light cheese. Depending on what, unless it's a cheese pizza, then I like light cheese if I have any other kind of top. Cause I don't wanna taste just like too much cheese. I like the bread and the sauce. Of course, this is a Lunchables pizza, so the bread and the sauce, you know, it's all like whatever. But the, the only risky thing is if you order light cheese, sometimes they'll put like nothing on there. You just get a piece of pizza with sauce on it. All right, one roni this time. Stop. One roni this time. Bam, bam. Sorry. N nobody knows what I'm talking about. Crisscross. Crisscross. Mmm, it's a Capri Sun. Did I even record any of that? I didn't. Sorry, Toasty. My bad. <laughs> Here's my pizza, though. This is what it looks like. I spreaded it and everything. Just use your imagination. Pizza is served. Okay, so that is even more nostalgic because I'm tasting that sauce and the cheese now. Straight from Italy. Okay, so I have one left and then we will do our final ranking. Normally when I had Lunchables as a kid, obviously they were at school, but every now and then I had them at home and one thing I always like to do was microwave the pizzas. I'm not going to microwave it. I think I'm going to put it in the toaster oven. I'm going to step it up a little bit. I've evolved since I was a child. We'll see how that goes. Honestly, I feel like it's probably better cold, but why not? All right, now we're talking. That's a gourmet Lunchable pizza right there. Put it in the toaster oven. <laughs> Gourmet. Let's put it in the toaster oven. <laughs> All right, I got my pizza. It actually looks halfway decent if I do say so myself. I'm kind of excited to eat this. Just get one look at that and say you, you, you could, you just tell me that looks like a Lunchable pizza. That just looks like a zoomed in, like a, it's a really big plate, right? That looks like a legit pizza. Say yes. I actually kind of toast it up. Definitely better than when I used to microwave it. That's for sure. All right, before I even bite it. <laughs> Yummy. All right, let's see how it tastes though. It can't be that good. It can't be as good as it looks. Of course, I'm not picky when it comes to pizza. I love any kind of like crap pizza so maybe you guys think it looks gross i think it looks good i choose to believe it will be taste you know it's not that bad <laughs> it being heated up and the sauce is kind of thickened a little bit it actually kind of really does a lot for the sauce especially i mean don't get me wrong the sauce is still very low tier but it just it, it makes it taste better this one does have a little bit too much sauce though you know what not bad again don't get me wrong it's insanely low tier i mean it's not even on the tier list if we're doing actual pizza but again i'm not picky i'm in it this i'm in it to have fun this is freaking lunchables if you're expecting me to be snobby about it you're gonna be disappointed. The question is, where do I rank this? I honestly don't know. It could go anywhere from above nachos to number one. You know what? F it. It's number one. I'm giving it number one over the sub sandwich. F it. Just give me fucking pepperoni.